Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, bottom line up front. Yeah, I like this. This is pretty cool. If you're looking for a strobe for your drone, you should definitely check out the V-Fly strobe. And the price on this is around $15. And it weighs six grams. I can oh my gosh, that's so bright. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Let's get started here. VFly sent this to me to review. I did not purchase this, and I'm really glad that they sent this to me because I really like it. I love flashlights and lighting products, and that is what this thing is. And one thing I want to note, just to be very clear, I have not actually tested this out at night on an aircraft for a long duration of time. So this is essentially just my impressions of it, powering it up and trying it out indoors and testing it out outside a little bit. So this was designed to be stuck onto a drone, probably a photography style drone, like a Mavic Mini right here, uh, pretty much just stuck on. And the reason why it's designed for that is because it has a built-in battery, which is very cool. So you don't have to wire this up to anything. You could put this on a plane, on a drone, whatever oh, definitions of things. Anyway, I mean, really anything that you didn't want to have to wire up a power source to the strobe. So that is super cool. Now, before we get any further, I know what you wanna see. So let's just look at uh, the actual strobe itself and how it works. This is really cool. It has three different colors. It has white, red, and green. And let's go through those. So it has this button right here and you just press it and hold the button for like, I don't know, four seconds. Oh my gosh, that's so bright. It looks probably not very good on, the, on camera right here on the tabletop but it is stupid bright. So you have kind of like a double flash uh, white strobe. Uh, press the button momentarily, and then it will change to the next setting. So we have a blinky uh, white light, blinky white light, and then we have a solid white light, and it is very bright. It's the brightest of all the colors. And then we have uh, double blinky red, or double strobe red. Again, it looks really dark on on this tabletop camera, but it's it's really bright. And then we press that again, we have slow blink red. Press it again, we have solid red. Press it again, we have double strobe green. Press it again, we have slow blink green. And then we have solid green. Press it again, it goes back to white strobe. Now, what you can do is you can um, just press and hold and it will shut it off. And then when you press and hold to turn it back on, it will come back to the whatever mode you had it left at. So that's really cool. So like say if you want a red light, um, so you don't like blow out your night vision or something, you could have it set to red and then it will stay on red. Um, and it won't just, you won't have to cycle through everything to actually get to the setting that you want, which I think is really, really cool. It does come with two uh, hook side Velcro sticky pat patches and then a soft sided Velcro sticky patch to actually put on the, uh, the actual strobe itself. And it also comes with a USB cable to charge the battery. According to the manual, the working time is about four hours. I have not tested this out. I would imagine it depends on the setting that you're on. So I would think that if you do like a blinking red, that would take a lot less energy than like a uh, solid white. According to this, the visibility is three plus miles. The one thing I really like about this is the clear heat shrink tubing that they used. It is uh, pretty thick and it allows the light to kind of like wrap around the strobe. I think that's a nice feature. I will say it would be nice if it was waterproof or, or water resistant. It looks like it's not, but you could probably easily um, just, you know, waterproof it by kind of plugging up the holes on the heat shrink on either side. Now, obviously, um, the the ideal use case or the intended use case for this would be something like a camera drone, like this Mavic Mini, where you just like stick it on there, and then boom, you've got like a lot of visibility. Or you could stick it on the bottom. You could do one one of each, something like that. Um, but you could definitely use it on an FPV drone as well, something like this. However, um, it it I would probably just go to the trouble to disconnect this onboard battery. And wire it into the, you know, into the flight controller uh, electrical system. Um, but 
I guess at that point, you that probably wouldn't be necessary because you could just have other LEDs that could be controlled by the flight controller. So yeah, it probably makes sense to just keep it in this one unit and keep it nice and simple. So the good thing about this is that if I did want to use this strobe uh, even on an FPV drone, but like say I didn't really need it most of the time, uh, when you do need it, you could just stick it on here however you want to do it or stick it on probably on the top of the battery actually. But yeah, definitely having two of these would be cool to have on the top and the bottom uh, for maximal coverage. I'm not sure about the longevity of the battery because um, it just, it looks like a generic little, you know, one cell LiPo battery. But I think if you take care of it, it should be all right. Now here's a lighting example. Uh, I was in a backyard and it wasn't totally dark outside and I adjusted my camera's ISO to basically match what I could see with my eyes. So it should be a somewhat realistic um, example of what this looks like at night, but it's kind of, it's hard to capture it on camera because of the the LED, the nature of the LED and how the how the brightness is regulated and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, here I am and I'm going to walk about 40 feet away and show you what these look like. Now, out of all the different modes, I think I would prefer to go with the slow blink because if you are flying a fast object, like maybe an FPV drone or an airplane, I think that gives a better indication of your movement across space uh, because you have that longer duration blink as opposed to the fast strobe where you can see where you are, but then maybe the next time the strobe goes, goes off, you're much farther away. So, um, and then if you just do a solid color, it's kind of, uh, it, it's not nearly as eye catching. So in terms of anti-collision type of stuff, that wouldn't be as useful. So I'd probably go with the slow blink. Um, maybe the strobe, if you're doing more like still photography type of stuff, but that's, that's just my preference. So if you are looking for a simple stick on solution for strobe lighting, anti-collision lighting on your flying thing, definitely check out the V-Fly strobe. I'll have links down in the, the description to where you can purchase this and all that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I will see you again on the next one, except I won't see you. You'll see me. You'll hear me on the next one. Bye. We'll get, I mean, we get bars in our goggles.